Sheriff John Bunnell. For decades, the police helicopter has been the great equalizer against crime. But officers need more than the right equipment to nab a felon. They need to make the right moves at just the right time. So sit tight. We're going to show you how a split-second moment of decision can separate a bust from a getaway. National City, California, where a fugitive snakes his way through suburban street. He may have a clear road now, but he's destined to cause horror on the highway before this day is through. We're getting word now that the driver has outstanding warrants and a long history of violent crimes. His luxury car's powerful engine easily keeps its distance from the cruisers in pursuit. But no matter where he turns, he finds more police units waiting for him. Just blew by that motorcycle cop approaching another patrol car right through the red light. Oh, another close call. There are too many obstacles and officers on the street, so he takes his frantic run to the freeway. But even there, slower vehicles impede his path. Coming up on the 54 interchange, and now he's trying to pass on the right. Oh, no. Okay, he just rammed that car there. That's now felony hit run. The line of patrol cars grows behind him, but the suspect hopes he can lose them all with just one drastic turn. He's headed onto the freeway going the wrong way. Rounding a blind curve, stunned motorists have no time to prepare for what's raging toward them, head on. Even a highway patrol officer is taken off guard. As two freeways intersect, his slow lane becomes the center lane. But the fugitive makes no move for safer ground. Officers watch helplessly as the suspect shoots straight into the heart of traffic. This is unbelievable. He's heading right down the center lane, not slowing down. Other cars can barely react. Oh! oh, did he just hit that car? Both vehicles miss the suspect by inches. The close calls shock some sense into the foolhardy fugitive. But by the time he learns from his mistake, it's too late. The breakdown lane disappeared. Oncoming motorists have nowhere to go, except into the face of terror. No! He's back into the center lane! Car swerving! Whoa! He has just caused a rear ender! The suspects brushes with death scare him off the freeway and back onto surface street. But it's out of the frying pan and into the fire. Ground units are on him in an instant. The suspect knows that his only proven way of avoiding capture was an insane, terrifying ordeal. But the fact he survived the crazy stunt once makes him think he can survive it twice. Okay, he may be making a use of no, no, he's heading back onto the freeway, back into oncoming lane. But again, a few near collisions scares the maniac to the safety of surface streets and right into an officer's path. He couldn't elude police the second time, so he decides to try and cheat death a third time. He's picked up two more CHP units. Now he's going to, yes, back into head-on traffic. Officers forced to break off again. This has just got to be one of the most frustrating pursuits we've ever seen. Officers shadow him on the opposite side of the freeway. They're close enough to assist in case of an accident, but helpless to prevent one. Okay, I think he's had enough again. He's making his way back off the freeway. Officers scramble to keep him from getting back onto the freeway. The intersection ahead is blocked. There's an officer in ambush position. Oh! Just missed with the spike strips. This guy has been too lucky too long. But each little escape makes the suspect even bolder. Again, into head-on lanes. Very tight traffic this time. Coming up on a minivan. Oh! Just missed. Oh, man, that was very close. By now, the tricky fugitive has wormed through nearly every cloverleaf in the South Bay. Officers are forced to shut down entire freeways to keep the civilians safe. Okay, we'll pull out wider so you can see here the CHP has the southbound lanes completely stopped. It's like a parking lot down there. Now, now wait, he's turning around, flipping a U-turn in the middle of the freeway. But with the spider's web of interchanges to deal with, the officers can't possibly cover every direction. We'll get to 805. Okay, he's trying to Avenue. When the menace returns to city streets, he finds no sympathy from the angered locals. Some pedestrians start hurling insults. 
others hurl rocks. Wow, civilians are targeting this guy now. By his fifth attempt at the same old trick, the officers have dug in and prepared for him. On E Street again, he's been down this way several times already, and patrol cars ahead have the streets completely blocked off. He has to turn off here. At the end of the on-ramp, his accumulated acts of mayhem finally catch up with him. His left front tire blows from the strain. The car is crippled. He's stopping the car now. He may be giving up here. Nope, foot fail, foot fail. But he still won't give up. He's actually trying to outrun the CHP on foot. Like a snake in the grass, the fugitive slips into the dense roadside sagebrush. But when he heads back onto the pavement, it becomes a battle of two legs versus four wheels. Oh, CHP cut him off there, and this guy is not happy about it. The wrong way runner is forced to double back. And the officer drives him down the embankment. CHP following him back into the brush. And uh, it looks like he may be heading back down to his car. No, no, he's crossing the freeway. He's dodging traffic on foot. But each weary step takes him headlong into traffic. One stumble or one distracted driver could mean the end. Another close one. Now it looks like, wait, a car veering right for him. A passing motorist seizes the opportunity to take matters into his own hand. Unbelievable. He's just pulled up. Suspect is down. It looks like a civilian just tackled the suspect. The fugitive's highway chaos made this motorist late for work. But his boss won't mind the added delay. The driver is actually a San Diego police officer. Wow, they both look like they're putting cuffs on him now. This is an amazing end to a totally bizarre chase. A cop may be off the clock, but he's always on duty. The arresting officers thank their unexpected backup, then lead the suspect across the freeway, this time in custody. It took only one desperate man to turn a major metropolitan community upside down. It barely reacted. Whoa! His sidewinding escape lasted for almost an hour causing havoc on the highway and countless traffic snarls all over the South Bay. But every unexpected twist, turn, yes, back into head-on traffic, and wild misdirection eventually led to a run-in that nobody would have predicted, an arrest by an off-duty police officer. This is an amazing end to a totally bizarre chase.